Good morning, everybody. It's Risa from Hudson Valley Vintage, and it is Friday, so it's get your paint on. Good morning. So this morning, so this morning, we're gonna be looking at and trying redesign with Prima's brand new rice paper. So this came out a little while ago, and I had not tried it yet until yesterday. And I wanna try it with you guys, and we'll talk about it, and Primarily, I want to compare it with the redesign with Prima Decoupage Decor Tissue Paper, which you may or may not know I'm a huge fan of. So let me show you a couple things before we get started. So first of all, this is how the rice paper comes. Okay, it's one sheet and it is 11 and a half by 16 and a quarter. So it's one sheet and um, 11 and a half by 16 and a quarter. And the retail price is $4, that's what we sell it for. This is how the tissue paper comes. And it is two sheets measuring 19 by 30 and the cost for retail is $8. So this is a half of a piece of the rice paper. I actually used the other half yesterday but anyway, so this is the consistency of the rice paper. I definitely can tear it. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'll do that in a minute. It's, it feels thicker than like a tissue paper you would think a tissue paper would be. Certainly thicker than um, a napkin. A lot of people decoupage with napkins. Okay, and then I have a piece of the tissue paper. Now I've already done a tutorial on how to use the tissue paper. So this is the tissue paper. It's pretty big. It's really nice for drawer, drawer fronts. You cannot rip it, you cannot tear it, and you cannot wrinkle it. So if I roll it up in a ball, just, it's not wrinkled. It's really easy to work with, which is why I like it a lot. So the tissue paper is very forgiving, no wrinkles, easy to work with. Clearly I love it. I mean, I'm making that pretty, clear to you guys, um, but I want to give the rice paper a fair shake. So yesterday I took um, the other half of this piece and I applied it just onto a board with, with top coat. This is from General Finishes. <clears throat> if you use Paint Couture, this is almost identical. It's not the same product, obviously, but it's very, very similar to the um, Paint Couture top coat, so you can use that too. Feels nice. Um, I did not paint the wood first, and you can kind of see it through just the teeniest bit. So this is what it looked like before, and this is what it looked like now. So between the wood and the top coat, I think it darkened it, it deepened it. So this pattern is called Botanical Sonata. I don't carry all of them. Botanical Sonata. <clears throat> this one that I showed you already is called Floral and Dream. And then this one that I have right here and I love blue, so I have to use this one. It's called Burgundy Woods. Okay, okay, so I took this wooden box. I decided to paint the top where I was adhering this. And um, I will show you how I am gonna get this off. So this is the full size of the sheet. This is exactly the full size right here. Okay. So what I did was I brushed on, which I'm gonna do in a minute. I'm, I'm gonna show you, I'm not just gonna talk about it. I brushed on one coat of my water-based top coat. This is from General Finishes, the high performance top coat in satin. So I adhered this with the top coat, just brushed on one light coat. I applied my 
rice paper, and then I put another coat on right on top. So then I started getting it off, but I started noticing it was ripping. Um, and then I was using, which I use for the tissue paper as well, I was using a piece of very fine sandpaper to remove it. So what you want to do is just go on your sharp edge and sand it a little and it'll come right off and you'll have a nice clean line. So I applied this yesterday with top coat, water-based clear top coat in, in satin. I put, another I, I put another coat over it and let it dry overnight and now I am removing the excess. And when you, when you remove the excess like this with the sandpaper, rather than trying to cut it off with a scissor or a craft knife, you get a perfect, perfect, perfect edge. Okay, I have a teeny bit stuck onto my box. I don't know if you can see that right here. So I'm just gonna try to, oh, it peeled right off, okay. So the, it's interesting that the, the rice paper, I don't know if you can see it right there, it almost has like thread in it. Okay, so let me talk about how I found it to adhere. It adheres very easily. And at least with the top coat, <clears throat> you want to be pretty accurate. I have a small piece of wood. So this is a water-based stain from General Finishes. I think it's gray. It is gray, but I think that's what it's called. And I'm going to first take my rice paper and figure out exactly where I want it on this piece. So um, it's actually pretty close in size to the piece of wood I have. So I am not gonna have a lot of excess and I actually think I'm only gonna have this edge here that's gonna be extra. I think otherwise it fits perfectly everywhere else. So I have my water-based top coat. Now when you're using a water-based top coat, one thing that's really important, whether you're using this one or um, Pink Couture's, you don't want to shake it. Shaking a water-based or Fusion, whichever one you want to, you're using, shaking a water-based top coat is going to create bubbles. So you do not want to shake it. If you forget and you do shake it, just put it aside for half an hour. Okay. So I actually left a popsicle stick in here last night because I hardly have any left. And I'm just gonna stir it. I like to use a sponge brush when I apply my um, top coat. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna apply um, one coat of my General Finishes top coat. I, I, I really like this top coat a lot. I use it a lot. And when I tried Pink Couture's top coat, I was pleasantly surprised because they were so similar. And I have used other water-based top coats that I have found really streaky and tough to work with. Because nobody's gonna see this, it's gonna be underneath. I don't care which direction I go in and I don't really care about my brush strokes. So now I'm gonna take my tissue paper and again, this one is called Floral and Dream. And I'm gonna find my edges 
then line it up where I can. So I think I can line it up on three sides, unlike the other one I just did. I'm just gonna pull it, I'm gonna pull it kind of taut. And it just covers three of my sides. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to rub it down. So this has adhered really well. Um, I guess if I really wanted to, I could probably pull it off, um, but actually it's, it's stuck on there pretty well. So I, I definitely urge you, um, at least if you're using top coat, I can't speak for other um, mediums, but take your, um, take your piece of rice paper first and really figure out where you're gonna put it um, before you start applying your top coat, okay? Once you put your top coat on, you're not gonna be able to put your rice paper on and be like finagling it and, you know, putting it down and moving it too much. All right, so now I'm gonna take my top coat and I'm gonna apply. Okay, so now I have applied another thin coat of my top coat. Now you can see how much darker the piece that's on the wood, between the wood being under it and the top coat being wet, how, dark, how much darker it looks than the piece that's not on the top coat. So here is the one I did yesterday. So it's going to lighten up slightly, but not all that much. The, the, you want to think about the color that you're going to use underneath if you're painting it, because if you're using a darker color, that is definitely going to make your rice paper darker. And of course, um, the top coat or the decoupage medium that you're going to use is going to make it a little darker. So what I'll do is I'll let this dry completely and then either later today or tomorrow, mostly depending on how busy I am, I'll take that sandpaper and lightly sand this off. So I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna bring back the box that I was working on before. Okay, so, so here's the um, other Piece that I put on and this one this design is called burgundy woods I really love this one because I love blue all right so I'm gonna do a little blending these edges are very very crisp can you see that they're really crisp I used a 220 grit sandpaper to sand off the edges after they dried so I'm gonna take Pankatoris Sophia. That's the color that I used to paint this top of this box. And I'm gonna use a blending sponge. Now I just wanna show you, so this is the, um, this is the tissue paper that I cut off. So you can see it right there. And here it is on my on my piece. Now I painted it in the Sophia and um, I used the top coat. So it definitely will darken it. If I had wanted to keep this look exactly, I probably would have or should have painted it white. But I wanted blue in here because I love blue. So I'm gonna grab a makeup sponge 
And I'm just gonna get a little bit of paint off the um, lid of this, just a little bit. I'm even gonna wipe a little bit off on my paper here. And this is gonna be so easy. I'm just dabbing it on the corners. Now, like I said before, the, the rice paper is a little stringy on the edges once you cut it. You might see like some very fine threads and that's normal. They're easy to cut off. So I'm just blending the paint color that I put here, which is Sophia from Paint Couture. What I'm trying to do is make it look like it is painted on rather than have the edges showing where it, it's clear that, um, that it's not painted on. So now what I've done is I've gone ahead and I have blended I've blended in the edge all the way around with my blending sponge using the paint that was originally on there. So now I, I'm a little bit unsure what I'm going to do with this piece and I might um, continue working on it next Friday with you guys if you want. Let's go ahead and paint, I think that'll look nice, let's go ahead and paint the bottom of the box with this color, which is Notorious BLU from the CC Restyled Remix Collection, also from Paint Tour. And I'm gonna shake it up. I'm also though going to mix it, stir it, because I have such a big container of it. Okay, so one of the things you're gonna notice when you use, um, Paint Couture, especially when it's in a larger container like this. This is a quart. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get some tape. So I'm just gonna cover just to the edge of this um, Sophia. So I'm going to take my blue ice brush, this is a one inch brush, and it's oval, it's got an oval tip. I really like these a lot, I just started using them and I started carrying them because they're synthetic, they're very fine, but also very dense and pretty firm, so um, they're nice. You could probably even stencil with this if you wanted to, although I haven't tried it yet. So I'm just gonna apply one coat right now. Okay, so there we go. And I'll see when this dries if I need another coat. I'm not even sure. I mean, that just covered really great. I'm guessing this box is pine or birch. Okay, so I want to quickly compare this to Redesign with Prima's tissue paper. So I, I've been using this for since it came out. I'm a huge fan of it. Um, this one comes two sheets, they are 19 by 30. And the two sheets for 19 by 30 are $8. And that's the size. You cannot rip it, you cannot wrinkle it. I should do an infomercial with this stuff. I, I just love it, okay? So um, full disclosure, <clears throat> Maybe I'm not the best person to compare them. I like the rice paper.
For me, though, because I use a lot of this stuff, I think that this is a better buy than this. I just happen to believe that. You know, you're getting two sheets in this one, you're getting one sheet in this one. This is double the price, this is $8, but I'm getting two bigger sheets. This is $4, I'm getting one smaller sheet. So, what I would say is think about your project, think about how much you need, think about um, the design. If the design is only available in the rice paper and you only need a sheet, then this is for you. If you need more, then this is for you. I think they're both good products. Um, but like I said, for me personally, because I use more of this stuff than the average person, because I'm a furniture painter, I feel like this is a better buy for me, but I've got both. So that's it. I hope you have a great weekend. I always appreciate you joining us, and um, I hope you learned a little bit. If you know anybody who's interested in these products, please share this sprinkle on your um, Facebook page. And um, if you watch this later or, th or think of any questions that you have, please post them in the comments, and as you know, I will always get back to you. Take care. Thank you so much again.